Hi everyone, what's up? Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look over the Gargia Classic Pro Semi-Automatic Home Espresso Machine. Now, the Classic Pro is touted as being amongst a very select few number of espresso machines to be termed as an entry-level machine. And don't be put off by this because the Gargia Classic Pro, whilst being an entry-level machine, it's essentially saying that it's designed for simplicity of use. And who doesn't want that? It is a single boiler machine, meaning you won't be able to steam milk and brew coffee on it at the same time, but it will brew espressos and steam milk as good as you'll find in any commercial cafe setting. The Gargia Classic Pro comes in a variety of different colors, including stainless steel and the black model you see here. Built on a full stainless steel housing and weighing seven and a half kilograms, it still has enough heft in it though that it's gonna stick to the bench when using it. By following this link right here, you can shop the Gargia Classic Pro and all its colors. Let's dive in now though, make a coffee and check out the specs on the Classic Pro. So starting from the top, the Gargia Classic uses a 2.1 litre water tank that's refillable from the top of the machine by removing the lid. It's always recommended to use filtered water when filling up an espresso machine. The water tank is removed from the front, taking the drip tray out first and then pulling it out from the back of the machine. This is a great little feature. And although the water tank is clear, which might help you see how much water you have left, when it does get low, it can be a little bit tricky to see. So Gargia included on the Pro, small cutouts on the side panelling of the machine and this should help you get a clearer picture of how much water you have left. Under the hood of the Classic Pro, it's kept fairly minimalist. We have a small 140ml anodized aluminium boiler. I say it's small, but it's balanced out by a powerful 1400 watt element, which basically means the Gargia Classic heats up super quick on startup. We're barely talking minutes. This heat that's produced is also what keeps the cups nice and warm on top. Now, it is a modest cup warmer. I've got about three cups up here now, and I'd probably take this as evidence that it's not going to be a machine that's going to be making 10 perfect coffees back to back quite quickly, but it is fully capable of making a few great coffees in the morning and throughout the day. On the front, we have the three basic functions of the machine, represented with simple rocker switches and a light under each. That indicates when that function is ready. Starting from left to right, you have your on-off switch, your coffee brew switch in the middle, and then your steam switch on the right. And to get hot water from the Classic Pro, you press both the brew and the steam switch at the same time, and then open up the steam nozzle to dispense hot water from the steam one. That steam one is a professional stainless steel one, it has a two hole steam tip that helps you get your milk rotating really quickly. Now the Classic Pro comes with a commercial standard 58 millimeter porter filter. It's chrome plated brass. It's a little bit plasticky, but it has a good weight to it. It also comes with three filter baskets with a single and a double non-pressurized basket, as well as a double pressurized basket. And this essentially allows you to brew a decent cup of espresso, despite perhaps not having the greatest of espresso grinders, or you may not even have a grinder. You could just be using Using ground coffee from the shops and what it will do is brew the coffee and release the espresso once a good pressure has been achieved in the basket so you get all that crema and you get the full flavor it doesn't replace espressos made with the non-pressurized baskets but it is ideal as an entry point to espresso brewing without the requirements of investing further in an espresso grinder straight away now the brew head is solid brass and connects to a three-way solenoid valve. Now a quick brief on this valve and why it's so important. It allows water to run from the boiler out through the brew head, but the other direction is back from the brew head when there's pressure and excess water that's built up and nowhere else to go, such as in the case when you've brewed a coffee and then you turn that switch off, to relieve that pressure and remove the water and avoid a soggy coffee water biscuit no one wants that in your basket, that three-way solenoid valve opens and then discharges the pressure and the water through this little pipe here, straight into your drip tray. And I really like this drip tray. It's a good size. It comes in two pieces with a plastic base and a metal tray, and it's easy to remove, and it sits nice and flush with the rest of the body. 
Now there was one disappointing thing I did find with the Gaggia Classic, and it was in fact the lack of accessories included in the box. It's somewhat understandable with the affordability of the machine, but all you get is a plastic tamp and a spoon. So there are some things that I would consider that won't break the bank, like a 58 millimeter steel tamper, but more of a necessity is a blind filter, and this is gonna be able to back flush your machine. Now, metal or rubber will be just fine, and possibly a brush too for cleaning that group head and around the seal. And I'll throw a link for all of these in the description down below. So we've come this far, let's now make a coffee on the Gargia Classic Pro. Now the machine is on, it's been up to temp, and I've loaded my basket with 20 grams of finely ground coffee. I find the standard basket that it came with did really well to fit all of this. Tamp nice and evenly, purge a little bit from the group head before then locking in my porta filter and pressing that brew button. Now the pump will kick in straight away, it's a little noisy of a pump, but really no more than most other machines and actually noticeably less tinny, like there's no rattling going on in the body. The espresso that comes out from the Gaggia is superb looking. It brews consistently throughout the shot and I had no trouble dialing in a great espresso shot quickly to get a good extraction and with well-balanced flavors and full of richness. With my espresso done, it's time to do the milk. I'm gonna flick that steam button on and it's pretty much ready to go within a minute or less, which is fantastic. There's plenty of power behind the steam to make multiple cups of coffee. The wand only swivels around left and right though. It's only a small inconvenience and I have no trouble getting that right angle on it to get super silky and smooth micro foamed milk. So making any of your favorite coffees, whether it's an espresso, latte, cappuccino, flat white, macchiato or piccolo, it's relatively straightforward and there's no overcomplicated operations. There is a 20 minute auto off function, making sure though that when you're done, you can walk away and it'll take care of the rest. It does what it needs to do well in a fairly compact size for the power that it does possess. Now cleaning an espresso machine should be done every time you use it. And of course, there's other routine maintenance too that you wanna be carrying out, but I won't go into all of that right now. There is a great video you can watch where we explore taking care of your espresso machine from day one, so it then takes care of you. And that's the Gargia Classic Pro home espresso machine for you. It's an absolute classic for being around almost three decades popularized for having commercial quality parts. I'm impressed with its capabilities, certainly more than I expected from such a small machine. I dig the look of the Classic Pro and have enjoyed the coffees that I've made from it. So if you have any questions on the Gargia Classic, throw them in the comments section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.